It's been five years since the University of Akron Zips played in their old stadium. The Rubber Bowl has been part of Akron history since it was built in 1939. Times were simpler back then, and the field, well, it didn't drain as well as it does today. Now, it sits empty and quiet, but it has a new owner that plans to bring football back to the old landmark. This is very exciting. It's very exciting. It's a good thing for Akron. Kathy Scott has run the LNC Barbershop across the street for the last six years. She grew up going to the Rubber Bowl and looks forward to new life returning to the stadium. We've watched the, you know, the Rubber Bowl just sit and it's just crumbling and it's a landmark. I, I saw the Rolling Stones there when I was younger and we've, you know, a lot of things, a lot of, lot of memories are over there and it's just wonderful. I think it's a good idea and it'll be nice to have uh, a professional football team in town, although we'll see how that goes. The group that bought the stadium plans to be a part of the rebirth of the United States Football League. The University of Akron president says he thinks the deal is a win-win for everyone involved. But to have a mid-level team uh, in Akron uh, will add to the vibrancy of the game and clearly will bring added resources uh, that will benefit our economy. The new USFL has targeted the spring of 2014 to kick off its inaugural season. In Akron, Joe McGee, News Channel 5.